New tonight, uh, Minneapolis mosque damaged by fire in the Phillips neighborhood. Crews found the flames on the third floor and evacuated several people, including children. The fire was out and no one was hurt. Investigators are still trying to figure out how it started. Meanwhile, police are searching for a man who brought gasoline inside another Minneapolis mosque and apparently tried to torch it. Minnesota's Muslim community says this is yet another example of the increase in attacks on their places of worship. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell explains what surveillance footage reveals and how police plan to help. Surveillance video shows a man carrying a brown bag into Mall 24's mosque just before 7 Sunday night. Inside the bag, Muslim community leaders say was gasoline, which he then used to light a fire in the bathroom. We averted a major tragedy. You know, the amount of liquid that he brought to cause the harm that we're ex expecting here, you know, this mall could have been engulfed. But it wasn't, thanks to worshipers who chased him out and helped extinguish the fire. This is now uh, potentially an act of arson that occurred in a house of worship. So now it is potentially a federal offense. Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara met with community leaders on Monday, vowing to add an increased police presence. They believe the man may be responsible for other acts of vandalism in the past. Like in January, when CARE Minnesota says he left graffiti and a gasoline canister at the mall. We know Islamophobia is alive uh, in our state, and uh, we're just making sure that, you know, um, uh, educating the community and making sure this is serious. CARE Minnesota says this is the fourth time a mosque has been damaged this year. This was the last time just a few weeks ago in Minneapolis. This is increasingly uh, challenging for our community, and it sets our community in a very uncomfortable position. We need the community to see the image of this person, and we need the community to tell us if they see this person out there, if they have any information at all of who this might possibly be. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Chief O'Hara said that he has made the FBI and U.S. Attorney aware of this latest incident. If you know anything, please call police.